Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, we have a very special review, Impressions of the Knife from Tempest Knives. This is uh, Casey's Premium Knife. This is the Fractus, and got a chance to check it out. Really excited. Made by Kubi, uh, or the OEM is Kubi. Uh, uh, Casey's the designer for this, part of his Tempest Knives. He is a knives fast. If you're not uh, familiar, check out the links down below in my description. This is Arctic Storm Fat Carbon Fiber Inlay on both sides. Beautifully done. Titanium mill clip that's easily reversible. It has a full fuller, or a thumb hole with a fuller here, so it's very nicely usable. Don't know if I can forward flip it i don't think i can but i mean this fuller works really really nice and for the price of what you get this is a fantastic it's got a beautiful fuller up here it's s90 v blade steel beautiful satin polished finish i like that a lot really really well done s90 v is gonna have some great cutting performance and then you have this cutaway right here easy access to it easy to release the lock it does lock in there it has a steel bar insert over travel stop bolstered lock right here works really really well Really, really like that as well. It drops well on the fuller, so you don't have to worry about guillotine on there. Works great. Oops, let me do that again. Great left or right-handed. I'm a righty, so, you know, there you go. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm a righty, uh, so it's really a little challenging to do that on the, on the, on the, on the backhand right there. So, right? All right. So, also, um, let's talk about the handle skill materials. We did titanium. It is milled out. You can, well, it's not really milled out there, but the liner definitely milled it out. A little sharp there, but that's it's nicely covered with the bolster. It has a beautiful clip. Definitely got some great flexibility, which is wonderful. Opens really nice. Cage ceramic ball bearings. If it's anything like my jet stream, you put skiffs in there, this becomes like butter. You can feel it's not, you know, OEM uh, cage bearings are good. They're good. Sometimes they're really good, but they're not skiffs. Skiffs is just, you, you, if you have one of these, if this was mine, I'd put skiffs in there and it would be like butter. Right? It'd be like butter, but it's not mine, so I'm not going to take it apart. I'm not going to mess with it, right? Love this captive pivot. It's beautiful design on there. T8 there. This is T6, 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 T6. Yeah, I think those are all T6, but that's a T8, so that's nice. Uh, really cool. Love the jimping here. You've got a little jimping up here on top here, and then if you choke up, you've got a little more jimping here. If you do a pinch grip, works really well. Got a nice, thick, robust blade. Full, almost flat grind. Flattens out here. Comes a nice, sharp edge. Definitely a beautiful slicer. I love the texture. Do you all see that little milling, micro milling there, little micro texture on there? It's all around the handle, around where the, car, uh, the, the Arctic Stork Fat Carbon inlay is in. I think that's pretty, pretty stinking cool. Uh, opens and closes with the fuller, left and right hand. Sorry, do that again. You can use the, the thumb hole. You can roll it open. I mean, that's, that's kind of the nice thing. You can use this bottom part down here if you want to flick it open. So, you know, I'd kind of consider it almost dual purpose flipper. It's not really a front flipper. I can't really do that. Uh, and that's really, it's kind of a little bit limited. I would, you know, we'll go into the review about the fl uh, fidgetability, the fidget factor, I should say. All right, so steel, we talked about that, how it closes, closes pretty nicely. And I love the fact that the finger twirl drops in your finger, you're not gonna have that guillotine action. That's really, really nice. I do like that a lot. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do a little bit of measurements on this here and let's see how much this guy weighs. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so the knife comes in at 4.3 ounces, which is not bad. Pretty decent weight for a knife, right? Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and measure the overall length of the knife here. We're looking at a knife that is, uh, I was going to say, right around 88 inches. So we're looking at right at 8 inches exactly. Wow, perfect. If you look at from here to the handle, you got four, 4 inches there. And if you use the finger choil, you get 5 inches of grip. So extra large, double extra large hands, got plenty of room. Blade from tip to the handle, you're at, uh, I'm going to say, 3.5 inches almost exactly. Total cutting length is going to be 3, I want to say 3.8 inch. So there you go. All right, so let's look at the overall thickness of the blade. It does look like it's kind of robust, a little thicker than normal, right? So let's take a look at that. So let's see what we're at. We are at, well, not bad, 119, 120 thousandths of an inch. Yeah, 119, 120 thousandths of an inch, so 0.12 inches. That's not bad at all. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so what's the over, overall cost of this blade? Well, the overall cost of this blade is... Okay, I'm back. So the overall cost of this knife is $199 for the pre-order. Probably a little more if he has any extras. I think they sold out. I mean, he, he only could order so many. I'm hoping he'll do another run because it's such a nice knife. It's really a big bang for the buck. I mean, when you think about everything you get in this knife, 
it's phenomenal. It really is. It's, it's, it's a heck of a deal. It, it really is. It's a lot. So to me, that puts it right in the budget, in the regular category, right in the dead center of the regular category. It's not even close to the high end. So, I mean, value-wise, this is just ridiculous, right? To me, to me, I feel like you, you're, you're getting more knife than you can imagine for the cost. I mean, other places would charge 50, 75, maybe $100 more. Right, so I think that's a good deal. Purpose, EDC, hard use, collection piece. You can absolutely make it a collection piece. It's a beautiful knife. Absolutely, absolutely collection piece worthy. But, you know, for me at that price, it's definitely a user knife. And it's got a good frame lock. Locks up really solid in there. It's really solid as well. It bolstered so, you know, you're not, uh, you can flip, open, and close it. But still, you have enough where you can keep that engaged so that you're not worrying about the, the lock disengaging. So, I mean, hard use, absolutely. Now it's not a fixed blade. It's not an axe. So, you know, I mean, if you're a life or death situation, right, you can use it how you need to. But just remember, it's, it's not a fixed blade. If you, if you need to do fixed blades things, get a fixed blade. That's my attitude, right? So there you go. Uh, but I think it's a great knife. The Ergos. Ergos are ridiculous. It is contoured all the way around. It's beautiful texturing, beautiful clip, rounded, no hot spots, finger choil, uh, rounded on the edges out there really, really nicely. Uh, it's a little sharp there, but if this was mine, that, that had file down. That's an easy fix, right? That's an easy fix. Uh, I believe this is, might be a production sample. I don't know if it's a... If it's a uh, if it's a uh, prototype, I don't think it's a prototype. I think it's a production sample. So CPS 90V, um, I will tell you that uh, the design is fantastic. Opening and closing is really, really easy. Now, I'm not lefty. I keep doing that. I'm not lefty. It's really easy to open left right-handed. But the closing is phenomenal. Again, this is what I really enjoy. I wish the Jetstream had done this because then that Jetstream would have been perfect for me. It... It comes a little bit closer, and, and I had to file it down so it wouldn't cut in my finger. Still a wonderful knife, but you put skips in there, oh my gosh, ridiculous. So overall, opening and closing is phenomenal. Fidget factor. So, I mean, I can fidget, I can flick it there, I can flick it there, I can slow roll, I can open roll, but I can't front flip, I can't flipper it, I don't have a thumb stud, so, you know, Normally I'd only give it two and a half, but because of the length of this, and you have multiple choices, I can go up high, I can go down low, I'm gonna give it a four, absolutely a four, you know, because this, this is more than just one. This is kind of a, I don't know, it gives it a little dynamic, a little bit of, you can move your hand all around, so I'm gonna give that a four out of 10 for fidget factor. Now, how does it execute? I'm gonna give it a solid A, a 95. I don't know if I'd give it 100. Uh, I think you put skips in there. It'd probably become 100, honestly. Uh, the OEM uh, skips on this one are okay. Um, now, most people are not going to notice. They're not going to think a big deal about it. But I like to put skips in all my knives. And I can feel that. I can feel that's not, that's an OEM uh, cage bearings. They're not the super buttery smooth. But man, you put skips in there, this, this thing becomes like a semi-custom knife. I'm telling you, it is just ridiculous. Like recently, I got the... Uh, Got the Reku from Noel Knives, and it had the OEM Riot skips, uh, Riot cage bearings. They're perfectly great, but I put skips in there. Oh my gosh, it feels almost like a semi custom. So buttery smooth, so buttery smooth. Sorry, my alarm going off, our doorbell's going off there. Please ignore that. Um, but really, really, really nice. So, four out of ten. So, I'm going to give it a 95 for fidgety goodness. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I like that a lot. All right, so I recently was working on the knife, got a little oil and different things. I need to change my Band-Aid because I was oiling and different things the knives here. Uh, yes, I did cut myself on another knife, if anybody's curious. It was my Sabenza. I was uh, putting new thumb studs on there, and then I was uh, uh, using some flits to polish off some blue anodization on some uh, lanyard and then the backspacer and made it look really nice. But as I was breaking it in, I wasn't paying attention. I was tired, and I caught myself and cut myself in the back there. So I'm keeping pressure because I want that to heal and push pressure because it was a clean cut, so it should heal pretty rel relatively clean if I can keep it on there. Anyways, not on this knife. Don't worry. Um, but I'm good now. I'm healing up just fine. But anyways, this is this is really nice. Uh, my overall thoughts are: is it recommended? Absolutely, it's recommended for two hundred dollars. Now, maybe you know after the pre-order, regular price, maybe it's going to be two twenty-five, two thirty. I don't know. Maybe next run it's going to be more expensive because of materials. Maybe it's two forty. I don't know. I still think this is a knife at two fifty would be reasonable. I think two thirty-five is a great deal. I think two twenty-five is a really good deal. I think two hundred is a ridiculously good deal. If it comes in again at $200, I mean, I think it's just insanely good deal. So 
Yeah, 200 bucks. I think if you bought it and you got it for $200, you got a great deal. I highly recommend it. I, I missed out on it. It's a bummer, but that's okay. You know, I'm hoping he does another one and I'm hoping he maybe does more. Um, I like what he's doing. I like his design. I really do. I love the fact he did the finger troll this time. I really dig that. I don't know if he's a finger troll fan because I don't think he had a lot. Well, he did have it on the uh, the first one. I had that one. I forget that one. That one was, was 14C28 and that was a that was a workhorse knife. I love that knife. Ended up giving it away in a giveaway in the channel. But man, that knife was like, you could just beat the snot out. It was just such a good, solid knife. Um, but this one, fantastic. Just fantastic. The Fractus. Yeah. So I'm going to recommend it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's something you should definitely consider. So that's my thoughts. Hey, if you have any questions about the knife or the review, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. I would love to uh, talk to you about that. If you have any questions for the channel, let me know as well. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, or worthwhile, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button down below? Subscribing and liking the channel really helps out. It allows, allows me to produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to all of those of you who, who like, who subscribe to the videos, who watch the videos. I sure appreciate you. And, uh, and if you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video. And to all my channel members, a big, huge thank you. Thank you to all of you guys out there who watch the videos, who support the channel. I really appreciate you, especially since you've been here since the beginning, some of you along the way, and some of you recently. Man, I am so humbled. My big way to say thank you to you guys, I do a once a month members exclusive giveaway, and then I also do members stickers. So if you're a brand new member, email me with your name and address. I'd love to send you a sticker. If you've been a member for a while, you're a member right now, and you haven't emailed me yet, send me your name and address, and I'll mail you a sticker as well. So it's my, it's my small way to say thank you. There's also exclusive content. There's other things that we do. But I just want you to know I appreciate you. Appreciate you supporting the channel, allowing me to do these things and talk about the knives, review, give you my thoughts. Hopefully it helps you make some good decisions on your knives. If you don't agree with me, you, at least what you know, what you don't agree with me, it'll, if you know I like it, you may not like it. If you know I don't like it, you may like it. Either way, I leverage a lot of other uh, knife reviewers the same way. There's some I don't agree with. And I know if they don't like something, most likely I will like it. And if there's something they like, I may not like it. And then there's those who I know some things they like, I like, you know? But everybody's different. And you gotta kind of mix it all together to a big cauldron, a big pot of, of reviews, of perspectives. And I think it gives, gives you a good idea of what's a good knife out there. At least help you make a better buying decision. And that's what I'm looking for. And that's what I'm hoping I'm doing for you guys. Well, hey, if you found this content, you know, helpful you know i appreciate you i appreciate you watching it i really do if you haven't already maybe maybe also check me out on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives again that's on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives thanks so much for watching today have a great day and a great week bye